right, guys. So I want to go over the Saga 12. This thing is a monster. This is the max recoil build. Uh, currently, I've got it down to 97 recoil. And uh, that, honestly, is very manageable. Uh, we are using the flechette rounds, which are the 12 by 70 flechettes. There are eight rounds that come out, and they do 19 damage per pellet. And uh, this actually has a 28 penetration power which means that it's going to do slightly effective damage to level five and level six armor which is basically um, you land a good three to four shots in level five armor you're most likely going to kill someone um, sometimes it may take a little bit more but if you end up hitting someone in their legs i've dropped players with leg shots as well and it, it only took like two or three shots um, so with that being said, this is my favorite build right now for the Saga 12. This is the max recoil. We are staying away from the AP slug rounds, AP 20s, because uh, sadly, AP slugs will only do, they only have like a one to penetration value for five armor and zero for level six. So if you run into someone with Zuck armor, you 100% have to aim for the head. Whereas with the Saga 12 and the Flechette rounds, you can actually aim legs, chest, or head. It doesn't matter. Obviously, you're always going to want to aim for the head. But um, this gun basically can shred any and all armor if you put enough rounds down fast enough. And if you catch someone off guard, they are 100% going to die. Uh, this thing is freaking amazing. All right, guys, let's talk about the loadout and why we're choosing what we're choosing for this loadout. All right, guys, so we're going to go over why we're currently using this armor and this loadout the way that we are with the shotgun. Uh, currently, the reason we are using fort is because the rounds that we're using, we want to be able to close the gap and get as close as possible to tighten up or shot groups on the opponents that we're fighting, whether it's the scav bosses or the players. Uh, we want to get as many rounds on target as possible, and this armor allows us to do that. Uh, same with this helmet. The face shield on this helmet is level four, as you can see right here. This will take almost a like a good majority of rounds that are out there that players are using. Um, most players can't afford the high end ammo because the prices are starting to go up which um, it, it does suck that people do not have the same availability or they're not willing to spend the money to secure kills and that's that's okay um, but that's what we're gearing for we're gearing for the expectation that we're going to run into players who are not willing to run m995 or you know m80 and, and even if they're running m80 um, they have to hit you directly into your face and when you have a shotgun that's loud as the shotgun that we're using, and when they're getting hit and peppered with as many rounds as you're getting peppered with from these flechette rounds, it's going to cause a lot of panic for most players. It, more experienced players are going to still try to secure the headshots, but most are going to be like, holy, and they're going to they're gonna bug out or try to. Um, so we're, we're playing with level 6 armor because... This is going to give us the highest chance of survival, and it's also going to allow us to close in on the enemy and destroy them. And that is the main goal of this loadout. Uh, this is a very expensive loadout. It's kind of more of a meme loadout, to be honest with you guys. It works, though. I mean, it really does work. Um, it may not work against big teams of players, but it, it will work against small groups. It will definitely work against the scav boss, as you're going to see in the video. Um, the reason this is so good versus scav boss and his minions is that the armor actually protects your full arms your chest and your stomach right and when you have this face shield on the scav bosses kind of understand that they can't shoot through your face shield they're still going to try to shoot at you but they're more hesitant right and it doesn't make sense but you will you'll get what i'm saying as you watch these series as a, we go into like what's going on with each of these scabs, it's kind of interesting. 
Uh, what they do is they, they will try to shoot you in the legs, which is your only part that's going to be exposed. And then it goes from there to they panic, especially when you're firing a shit ton of rounds at them. It's actually pretty amusing. This armor is really, really good. It definitely will save you, believe it or not. With that being said, the reason we use the tactical alpha rig is because it allows us to hold an extra 20 round mag. Now I would use level four armor with this. However, level four armor gets shredded really fast, even versus the scav bosses and his, and his little minions it will shred you really, really fast. And it, the only disadvantage to running this is I have to pick up my 20 round mag every time I reload, which to be fair, it's not a big deal. Um, once you reload, you can quickly look down, pick it back up. Uh, what will happen is, is if there are more than 10 rounds in that drum, when you go to reload again, it's going to throw that drum back into your gun. It's going to drop your other drum. And then when you get below 10 rounds, it's not going to pick that mag anymore. What it'll end up doing is picking your 10 round mag. All right, let's get on to the killing. No one's come in this side yet. Fucking kidding me? You don't have any meds. I forgot meds. Oh, man. Nope. A few moments later. So the scavs didn't know what to do because we are wearing such heavy armor. We could have dropped our fort. My fingers are sweating. That's how sweaty I was at that moment.
Oh man. What? All right. And he came out on top, port level seven. That is not his M4 though. That's someone else's. But kudos, bro. You're going to get your shit back because I'm not taking it. This is a very dangerous area. I don't run at all through here. Because, first of all, we can't hear shit. Second of all, this is, yeah. <laughs> so, we're going to have a ton of hits, boys. You're probably wondering, what do you mean by a ton of hits? Well, the flesh shit rounds... It's like eight or nine, maybe eight or 10 rounds per. Uh, Golden Eye, don't worry. We're going to make a video of this one after we get out. Well, today for sure. What? Please don't be anyone else. What were you doing, bro? Did he not see me? What is this? Did I just win the internet? What is fucking happening? There's no way we're making it out. We got 17 HP left on our fort, right? Why was he walking in like place? He's sneaking. How did you not see me? I'm a fucking giant tank. Was he aiming for the head? What was he doing? I'm confused. We spawned on this side. That, no? We... Bros, we went backwards. We went back the way we came. Oh, I'm an idiot. God, I'm so stupid. All right, so we have 18 rounds. This one has 17. So we'll be good. that boat to be up boys come on don't if they shoot me they'll shoot me in the head right and then we live because we have a level six helmet easy Peter.
Oh my god. 3,000 damage. Holy shit. <laughs> Look at the hit count. 237. Ah, oh, for the shit. Easy. That's not bad for accuracy. Look at that. 0. 0.47. 